Sports at an all-time low. Fuck it, here come the Ostriches. Number one and number two out to an early lead. And number three is tweaking out in the back, running in circles. He has no chance. And look at this! Coming from behind is number two. Number one's jockey falls off. As a matter of fact, every fucking little jockey falls off. And now the Ostriches are going crazy. Running around as they'll be sheltered back in place. And oh no, that guy's going to get stuck in there with them. And they forgot about another ostrich who's tweaking out and doesn't want to go in there. Jesus Christ. I think the world has hit rock bottom. Look at the replay. Kim Kardashian is the uh, ostrich that won the race, I believe. Let's see. The number two here goes to the side, goes left, starts fucking freaking out. And number one just takes the lead. What a race, guys. Join us every week. Baragoya. Well, that was a tough Goya. one there. I know it. I well, know he knows it, it though. Know it. <laughs> Jacob is excited. He knows this okay. one. Looks like he's Kabara moving on. Baragoya. C A B A R A G O Y A. Baragoya. What? Oh my God! Was that little fucking John? Jacob just got it wrong, and now he has to take the walk of shame. That cocky little asshole, as he walks back to the other smart kids and has to high five him for losing. Well, I never thought the world would come to this, Peter. We are announcing two white boys playing tag. How exciting! Uh, FYI, it also is the sport that is probably the fastest way to spread the coronavirus so don't play this at home and Davis trying to corner Greg Greg gets away leaps on the bar Davis not giving up obviously because that's the point of the game Davis tries to grab Greg leaps over the edge and he's got him he's got the coronavirus he tagged him in the ass with his hand and that's all it took Greg is now eliminated will be quarantined and isolated for about 14 days, and Davis will continue to spread the disease. Well, kids, there's a lesson to learn here. Don't smoke crack, do bath salts, and try and rob a convenience store. It will not end well. Look at this kid. He gets fucking tased, lit up, and he's on the ground. Now, the other girl who was helping him rob the store tried to exit, but the guy won't let her leave, so she sneaks around the cop. And she goes to the back room. This is where it gets fucking good, people. Pay attention. He gets away, runs around the corner, and the cop fucks him up. Hits him with his fucking elbow right to the jaw. Meanwhile, this crack is looking for an escape, right? There is an exit door right behind her on the right, but no. She's all fucked up. So she decides to go where? To go into the fucking ceiling. Well, guess what? Bad idea, you little crack whore. And she falls down into a baggie of clothes and now she's fucked because the cops are there and there they are guns drawn good guys win sorry honey no crack for you today <laughs> well he's dreamed about it since he was in eighth grade for the ninth grade championship he makes it my goodness he is built like a fucking school bus but boy oh boy can this guy kick look at this doesn't even take a running start he just flicks it with his fucking toenail, and just like that, the Soaring Eagles have won the championship. Wow, what a happy camper. Well, they either are still thinking they're at Omnia from last night, or they're just doing fucking TikTok dances right now. We're trying to play football. Flags everywhere. The referee penalizes every player. Is I think it had something to do with that song came on. Uh, I've got hoes calling, watching the Mobamba one. I don't know. Let's get back to football, Peter. Over to Daly on 13, and it has been a disaster for him today. He just does not have it. We are getting news that Daly went on a serious fucking bender last night. Excuse my language, but I guess there was uh, trannies involved. He showed up at the golf tournament today with white powder all over his nostrils. We're looking into what that substance was, and it has just been a mess for John today. As he just says, yep, he just says, fuck it. And again, excuse my language, but the club goes into the water. That's going to make one happy fan who goes to pick it up. And that, you better be careful touching that. That's probably got fucking some serious tranny aids on it. 
Anyways, he's happy about it. Lesson in life here, kids. Don't do blow, fuck a tranny, and go to a golf tournament to expect to win. Over to Justin Thomas on 12th. And second and two, handoff goes to McCaffrey up the middle, finds a little room, a lot more room, and he's off to the races, running down the field like he's fucking Seabiscuit. Touchdown! Wow! And I may get fired for this one, Peter, but fuck it. I mean, white guys, not to bring race into this, they're not supposed to be able to do that. That is fast. I, I mean, Peter, you tell me the last time you saw a white guy run. All right, we'll stop. Jesus, our producers yelling in our ear. 2020 races, and we get it. Up the middle, McCaffrey finds a hole, beelines into the end zone, running away from number 33 like he's got the fucking coronavirus. And we'll probably take a little shit for that one too, Peter. 2020, shake my head. Hand off to McCaffrey, right side. He's got room. My goodness, leaping. Oh, God. White men can jump. It's a fucking miracle. Taking the lead. The 2 2 gets away from him badly. What the fuck was that? My goodness, he must have seen somebody who fucked his ex girlfriend or something. We're not going to speculate, but this is the worst pitch we've ever seen in the history of baseball kid has a fucking seizure on the mound then a panic attack then runs after the ball the crowd of 17 he is not impressed and we are live from sky fox one crackhead on the loose last seen smoking crystal meth out of a pepsi can drives directly into a tree police are surrounding him and i think that's all she wrote my goodness, is he fucked up. He looks like fucking Frankenstein coming out of the trees there. And it's only, there we go, electrical currents running through his body, making that little jerk-off gesture. You see his hand? Well, that's what the electrical taser does. It kind of makes you go limp. Your body goes numb, and that's all she wrote. The good guys always find a way to win. I don't get why they run away from the police here, Peter. They can never get away, especially from a helicopter. Let's flip this bad boy around. It is time to go back in the booth. That man is going to the clinky. How is school today? Hello? No. I'm just a bear driving. Daddy, is that that? Nope, I'm a bear. <laughs> You're in my world now. I want to go home. You want to go home? Yeah. You are home in my bear cave. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Set the tone. Main man, Damon Star racing this bad boy. Ripper Magoo's the car. We got Ruben is fat. Love David Edelman. That's Michael Ruben. We've got the car right here. We've got our loyal goats, points bet, back this venture. Staff in the back. And we are ready to go. Not Daytona, or not Daytona, fucking uh, Parkino. This is the competition we're going to get out of this boat. We are officially here. Alright, so David, here's the deal. I've been an underdog my whole entire life, right? Now they're saying, everybody's saying, we don't have a chance. I need you to drive that thing as fucking fast as you can. Pedal to the metal, shake and bake, I don't give a fuck what. There's gonna be a lot of guys after you. With this Ripper Magoo sign all over the car, you just gotta fucking do Stick to the fundamentals, all right? Stick to the fucking fundamentals. You get a shot at this thing? Our dash, Rich Eisen, and he's off. Well, not really. God, I hope he's not saving me from a burning car. That is about as slow as you can get. Let's go to the judges and take a listen got, in, Peter. We got more. We got faster. We got faster in yet. You got another one. You're going to get faster on this next one. Okay, we're going to get faster. Uh, faster? That's on, obvious. You can't get any Rich fucking Eisen. slower. Rich Round Eisen. two, and he's off this time, running down the field like he's got to take a massive yeah. shit. Yikes. 
Let's take a listen into the judges. You're going to want to go with Connor's time on this one. So on the uh, first run, it was uh, 6.07. The second, I got 6.13. Okay, what you got? A little worse. And Peter, just excuse me a second. Paramedics are making their way onto the field to monitor Rich. Rich is very out of shape, very unhealthy, and let's be honest, fat and old. Third attempt, I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness, like a firecracker lit right under his ass, and he does it. Record time, a six flat for cancer research for Sage. Well, it took her a minute to get down here, but she's here giving her best effort. The crowd not being so nice. They're busting Grandma's balls a little bit, but Grandma doesn't seem to be phased. That one looks pretty good, Peter, right down the middle. This one is looking really good. Come on now, give me a break. Give me a fucking break! Grandma gets it done! Holy shit! Wow! I mean, that didn't really just happen, did it? I mean, everybody's going wild. Tony the shark in the background losing his mind. They said she was too old. She can't play golf. She's a grandma. Well, go fuck yourself. Even Santa Claus in the front row is excited. Whoa! And you can see the cut is on the left ear of Wilder. Tyson Fury unloading on him, and they're up against the ropes again. And wait a minute, my goodness, what did Fury just do to Wilder's ear? We're going to have to look at that replay again. A little bit of Holyfield Tyson moment there. I don't think as aggressive, but we'll have to wait for the replay. This round is coming to an end, and Wilder is getting the absolute fucking shit kicked out of him. Wow! Back to the corners they go, and we are going to have to pull up this replay to take a closer look at this one. Look at the replay. He is fucking licking his bloody ear. He was thirsty for blood, and boy, oh boy, did he ever get some. Holy shit. Fastball coming. No, it's a changeup, and it is ripped deep to left field. Altuve was waiting for it. Astros win. Wow. And Chapman shakes his head. And as Altuve rounds the base, I don't know if he has a heart condition or if he works for the FBI, but something's off here because there's a fucking wire poking right out of his shirt. We'll see it right now. And Chapman still shaking his head. How did he get change up? Well, look at the replay. He's saying, don't rip off my shirt. It's not because he doesn't want people to see his leprechaun-sized baby nipples. It's because he's wearing a buzzer. Astros win. He is just gas, Peter. He's got nothing left, and now he is fucking dead, most likely. Down goes the referee as well, checking for a pulse. It's not there. I don't know what he's looking for. Watch this fucking zapped right in the temple. It was his fucking time to go. The Lord had chosen him. Bye-bye, Birdie. He gets so hit. Watch this angle so hard, his fucking head explodes right in front of us and there is the referee's asshole adam scott on the tee peter it is good to be back even though we're technically not allowed to be back i don't think down the middle my goodness watch out incoming dart right at the heels of the man with a bucket hat on i have no idea who he is adam scott says step aside i gotta turn him into win wave your hand all you want you're wearing a bucket hat that's questionable Meanwhile, Rory McIlroy is excited, so excited that he is beating off an umbrella. That's right, beating off an umbrella, wow. Anyways, Matt Kuchar, he wants to fucking kill somebody. He sees the Mexican caddy, he fucked over and fires one right at his head. Well, Peter, let's call a spade a spade. The shittier version of the NFL about to kick off the XFL, the kicker on a different planet back there. Meanwhile, the rest of the special teams lined up like they're in the movie fucking Braveheart. 15-20, 20, 25, and he's tackled down the 32-yard line. And we cut down, knocking on heaven's door. Here is the Orange team. I know their name. It's the XFL, remember? Oh, boy, Johnson throws up again. Completely out of shape. Either that or he went out last night banging hookers till 4 a.m. Might be an option. We don't know. We're going to look into it. I mean, it's the XFL. Anything goes. Two, one, 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 one,
segment top three SBTF of the night of the NBA. We're sober. It's boring. Fuck it. A lot of white guys in this top three. Stolen away. John Morant is distracted. Other end, easy slam dunk. Now, I saw a big fat pair of fake titties in the front row, and so did John Morant, apparently. Number two, Porzingis. Out here guarding the most unathletic creature on planet Earth, the white guy. Flying around like he was fucking Superman. Easy slam dunk number one. Talk about unathletic, another white guy. Going for the slam dunk just short. He looks like he should be doing my fucking taxes. Not playing basketball. SBTF of the night. We're sober. We're going to be in the booth for, I guess.